ui shoiro runbal pendo i ti remoi lehi dich maskina poi selsnu loj bobau i mi ba sohiroi srera i pehu rodo se nihi roko frahu mi le nugohi. But first, here's a neat diagram of some word classes. Zbovla is on top, and it just means a lojban word. Last video, we talked about the brivla, predicate words, which consists of gismu, root relations, lujvo, compound relations, and fuhivla, loanword relations. We also mentioned shmevla, the name words, and all those other little words are called shmavo, or structure words. By the way, what's with all the vla endings? The words zhbovla, brivla, fuhivla, and shmevla are all lujvo, with vla being a rafsi for the word valsi, which just means x1 is a word meaning x2 in language x3. Zhbovla just means lojban word, brivla means breedy word, fuhivla means copy word, and shmevla means name word. Within the shmavo are the gadri, or articles, and the typicals. And those two are what I'm going to talk about in this video. There are online references to the gadri and the typicals in the link down below in the description. By the way, classes of shmavo are called selmaho, and there are, as far as I can tell, 116 lojban selmaho. Selmaho are written with capital letters, where lowercase h is the capital letter for apostrophe. Now, I dug a little deeper into why apostrophe and not h. Firstly, apostrophe does not have to be pronounced as the voiceless glottal fricative h but can be pronounced as any unvoiced fricative not already in use. And that wouldn't be confused with any other in use, like maybe th or a cat like hiss. H is just the default. Secondly, while the letter H is considered a consonant, in Lojban, apostrophe is neither a consonant nor a vowel, and it doesn't count as one. Remember the rule that brivla must have a consonant cluster? Apostrophe doesn't count as a consonant, so rather than confuse things, the letter H is not used. Thirdly, there has to be some kind of buffer between vowels when they don't run together as a diphthong, so niho versus neo. And it has to be something other than a pause. So the apostrophe works pretty well. It's like a voiceless vowel glide. John Cohen of complete Lojban language fame wrote about this in number 12 of the Zhuhi Lobopli journal, link down below for those who are interested. With that out of the way, let's get back to the Gadri. There are nine Shmavo in the Gadri, and they come from Selmaho La and Selmaho Le. The typicals contain the leftover two Shmavo in Selmaho Le. So let's talk about Selmaho La first. The canonical Shmavo for this Selmaho is, of course, La, and as we've seen before, it converts a Shmevla, like Hobbit, into a Sumti. So La Hobbit Mlatu means Hobbit is a cat. You can even put more Shmevla in there. La Fuzz Face Mlatu means Fuzz Face is a cat. By the way, you can combine multiple dots into a single dot, la, fuzz, face, mlatu, since there's no such thing as a double mandatory pause. La can also be used to convert a selbri into a name. Remember that riderhobi also means hobbit? So we can say la riderhobi shu mlatu, and it still means hobbit is a cat or even la mlatu shu mlatu. Cat is a cat, if you were particularly unimaginative in naming cats. My name is Robert. Mi selshme la Robert. My name is Rob. Mi selshme la Rob. 
My name is Rob. Mi selshme la zerleha. Yeah, no. The next gadri in Selmaho La is Lai. This is called the name mass article, and it's used when you're referring to a group that collectively has this name. For example, the Masons. It would make more sense to talk about the Masons not as a name, but as a named group. So, Lai Masons Bijri. The Masons are an organization. Or maybe the band Tool. Lai Tool Zgigri. Tool is a band. The final gadri in Selmaho La is Lahi. This is called the name set article, and it's a little harder to describe. I tend to think of it as used when the predicate selects an individual from a group or selects something common to a group. I know that doesn't really help, but if the brivla that you're using in the selbri says in the dictionary that it requires a set as a sumti, then use lahi. For example, shukhna. X1 chooses member X2 from set X3. Perhaps there is a box with cats in it labeled cats. So, mi shukhna lo chekri mlatu lahi mlatu. I choose a black cat from cats. Or maybe, le mlatu shufadni le kase pagbu lo rebla ke lahi Felides. The cat is typical in the property of having a tail among Felidae. And that is the complete set of Shmavo in Selmaho La. La, Lai, and Lahi. By the way, want to know how to Lojbanize a name? This works for most languages. In general, just spell out the sound of the name using the sounds of Lojban. Change H between vowels to an apostrophe, otherwise leave it out or change to X. NG can go to N, otherwise do your best. If the result doesn't end in a consonant, stick a consonant on the end. S and N are preferred, but any consonant that sounds good can be used. And there's a full list of other rules in the link down below. Finally, stick dots at both sides, and you're done. Lajbanize your name. Now, let's talk about the six gadri in Selmaho Le. The first three are Le, Le, and Lehi, and correspond to La, Lai, and Lahi, except the article means that you have a specific instance of the thing in mind, like the English article the. So, Le Mlatu, the cat, Le Mlatu, the cats as a group, Lehi Mlatu, the set of cats. Lemlatu selshme lamlatu. The cat is named cat. Lemlatu shushatra lemlatu keldai. The cats killed the cat toy. Mishukhna lo mlatu lehi mlatu. I select a black cat from the set of cats. Now for non-specific or general instances like English article a, we have lo, loi, and lohi. Lo mlatu, a cat. Loi mlatu, a group of cats. Lohi mlatu, a set of cats. Lo mlatu shujersimi, a cat follows me. Loi mlatu shujersimi, a whole bunch of cats follows me. No mlatu shumupli lohi mlatu. No cat is the leader of a set of cats. Finally, we have the typicals in Selmaho Le. These are Lehe and Lohe. Lehe means the stereotypical, while Lohe means the typical. So, for example, when you say roses are red, you might actually mean the stereotypical rose is red. So, Lehe Rosgu Shu Hunre. And you can say, the typical feral cat is unfriendly. So, lohe shilshe mlatu shu na pendo. And that covers every shmavo in selmaho le and la. All of these create sumti for use in breedy. 
In the next video, I'm going to cover numbers so that you can say things like two cats, or all cats, or half the cats, or enough cats, or no cats, or the third cat, or seven of nine cats, or the cat ate twice, or every cat is fuzzy, or errata. This is the section where I talk about some of the mistakes I made in previous videos. One of the most glaring errors is the use of poo. Thanks to Keldwick Chaldane for pointing this one out. Pu is a tense shmavo, which means to put the time in the past. I said that you put pu at the beginning of a bridi in order to make it past tense, when in fact you put it just before the selbri, and if present, right after shu. You can put the tense before a sumti, and it binds to that sumti, but then it becomes an extra place in the selbri. In pu lo ridur hobi shu habju lo tumsve kevna, we have no x1 position. So we're just saying that something dwells in a hole in the ground prior to a hobbit dwelling in that hole in the ground. But you can break that binding using ku, which terminates the tense. With the tense on its lonesome like this, it now applies to the entire breedy, but also adds emphasis. That's a little more detail than I really wanted to go into for this correction. If only I had gotten it right in the first place. Uhu. Le shirla shulaldo gihe temledi i magim kumstu. For example, shuchna. Mm.